Dracula. It's definitely not a family kind of Dracula, this one. And it looks just terrifying. It's about blood. It's literally about blood. It will offer lots of shocks. It's very exciting. Oh, it's absolutely terrifying. <laughs> There are really horrifying scenes. You don't get more dramatic than this. Tony, take one. Action. Mr. Harker, you must take this. Oh, that's very kind of you, thank you. I, I couldn't possibly. You must. I suppose the thing about Dracula is it's one of those characters uh, that you you want a crack at you want you want your own version of I think every era has to have his Dracula and there's something irresistible about having a having a go at such a an iconic character and as with Sherlock Holmes in Baker Street you know briefly having the keys of the castle to play around with you, it's irresistible and exciting something that Bram Stoker did uh, way back in 1897. He, he sort of crystallised an awful lot of vampire legend into this fantastic, uh, clearly immortal character. The thing that we thought we could try, and it was very, very challenging, very, very difficult, was to make Dracula the main character. I know that sounds slightly odd, but uh, if you look at the book, he's, he's not in it that much. He's in the first few chapters and then he's, he's in the background. So how do you actually put the spotlight on Dracula? What we've got here, this Dracula, is very... It's quite closely connected to the Bram Stoker novel. It's a high adventure novel, there's lots of daring do, there's lots of coach chases, there's lots of stuff like that, so we've tried to embrace all that. I am Clace, and I am playing Dracula. Uh, immediately, like I thought, I love that name. I hope he's, I hope he's right for it. <laughs> One of the very few occasions where the bad guy is the main guy. Nobody's perfect. It's a tough ask casting Dracula because you actually want to say he's, uh, he's so attractive and charming and interesting that it's worth giving up the rest of your life for one night with this guy. Clace was really the only one that was uh, in our sights, really. He brings 100% commitment to the role, huge energy, huge sort of sexual energy, as well as being a kind of demonic force. So I played Jonathan Harker, he's a lawyer from England, and he gets sent to Dracula's castle to uh, finalise the deeds of a house for Count Dracula. Well, Jonathan Harker, of course, famously is the, uh, the first character to introduce us to, to Dracula. I bid you welcome. Mr. Harga. It's very important to me for him not to be too much of a, of a pushover. He's an incredibly courageous man. I'm playing the character of Mina, and she is very much in love with her fiance, Jonathan Harker, and will do anything to make sure that he is safe. I prepared for this role by becoming just completely obsessed with the undead. I was just so excited that Mark and Stephen were making it, really, because when I read it, I was like, this is so perfect. Of course they should do this, because their style suits it so well. Because I think they're both a little, little dark themselves and twisted with their humour, which is just Dracula, really. My character is called Sister Agatha, and she is not like many nuns you've seen before. Apparently, I cannot be trusted alone with a man. Consider yourself chaperoned. She's a real modern-day heroine. She's really brave. She's brilliant. What Dolly brings to it is an immense grasp of comedy. If you combine all the uh, qualities of an atheistical nun <laughs> with a sort of uh, action hero. I admire her hugely. <laughs> Where in our world is God to be found? In our prayer? No. I play the Mother Superior. Mother Superior is like a dragon at the front of the gates of the convent, protecting the nuns and protecting the sanctity of the place. Why would the forces of darkness wish to attack a convent? Perhaps they're sensitive to criticism. But uh, she's 
up against it with Dracula.